Hi there YouTube, Ben Parsons here again, and today we're going to be talking about movie posters. I recently watched a video of the uh, Blu-ray Anonymous, a great YouTuber, it's linked down below. He was talking about uh, different types of uh, movie posters and uh, which ones he thought were good and which ones he didn't think were so good and things like that. So if you haven't checked him out, please check him out. Great YouTuber, talks about loads of things related to films. And after seeing his film or after seeing his video about movie posters, you know, I thought I'd uh, upload a video about my movie poster collection. And I haven't done this up to now because, you know, it takes a lot of work. You know, I've got all my posters that are all put away in nice, uh, nice neat tubes like this. And there's two or three in each tube. So, you know, taking them out without damaging them, I've always sort of been a bit worried about it. But finally, I'm going to do the video. I'm going to take you through quickly through my movie posters. I'm just going to tell you that all of them are actually original movie posters or authentic movie posters. And what does that mean? That just means that basically they're, they're posters that have been uh, made to go into the theatres or into the cinemas. They're not uh, posters that have been made to sell in shops or anything other than that. They're specific size and normally they come uh, double sided, which means they have a sort of a mirror image on the back, which is used to put in the, the light boxes in the theatres. So you can actually see the picture better and it looks a lot better when you go into the cinema and it makes you want to see the film. So yeah, all original movie posters. They are a lot more expensive than normal movie posters, but I will explain the details and things to you as I show them to you. And yeah, let's just get to it. Okay guys, I hope you can see me alright. It's a bit difficult. I've been trying to put the table in a certain way that you can see the poster, but obviously if I tilt the table up like this, it's quite low, so I'm going to have to sort of crouch a bit. Hope you can see me. And before, before I just obviously talk about the first movie poster in my collection, which is obviously Lincoln, I'm just going to tell you that uh, all my movie posters I picked up from the same place. It's uh, called movieposter.com. It's a movie poster... A shop or store in Toronto, Canada, and I always import them from there. They have really good offers, so I'll put the link down below. If you want to check those out, you can have a look. They've got original posters, but they've also got you know, just normal posters. If you don't want to spend too much money on an original poster, they do have uh, replicas, and you can pick them up and they frame them and things like that, and uh, they send them to you. So it's a great, great store there in Canada, and that's where I pick all mine up. Okay, so this is the first poster, Lincoln. The 2012 uh, film directed by Steven Spielberg, obviously starring Daniel Day-Lewis and also Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Robert Lincoln, his son. And as soon as I saw this poster, I wanted to pick it up because there aren't many black and white posters out there. And as you can see, this is black and white. You know, it's on a white background. And uh, you have uh, Daniel Day-Lewis there, a nice uh, image from the side, side view of him with his beard, obviously looking like Lincoln. Really simple poster, but, you know, it gets to the point, and uh, yeah, one of, the, one of my favourite posters in my collection. And as I said before, all of my posters are double-sided, so what I'm going to do now, is so I'm going to turn this poster over. I'm not going to do it on all of the posters, because you know, it's a bit of a, it's hard work trying to turn them over and put them down without ruin, uh, damaging them, and I don't want to damage them much, because as soon as you scratch them or crease them, they come uh, down in value. So this uh, this poster, it cost me, I think, when I got it, was 40 euros, which is about 30 pounds, UK uh, pounds, and about 50 dollars. But obviously they do go up and down in price, so as people lose them or damage them or throw them away and they become um, rarer, they go up in price. So if you pick them up relatively closely to the release date, they are cheaper, but over time they do go up in price, and obviously the vintage original movie posters, you know, they can go really high in price, you know, up to thousands. Okay, so, yeah, the first one is Lincoln, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to show you the other side so you can understand what the double-sided means. Okay, so I've now turned it over, you can see that it's obviously the exact same image, a mirror image, and you can see obviously Lincoln is backwards, Daniel Day-Lewis, all the writing, and the image is reverse. There doesn't seem to be as much colour here, you know, it's a little, it looks faded, and that's the idea, because with double-sided posters, what they do is they put them in light boxes in theatres or cinemas, and, and basically what it's supposed to do is that the light's supposed to shine through this side, and as it comes out on the other side, it, the poster looks a lot clearer, and obviously it uh, looks a lot better. So if you have, uh, there are original posters that are just one-sided, but they're not obviously as good or 
there's value of others, double-sided posters. And as I said, all of my posters are double-sided. I don't pick them up if they're not. And also, it's another way to tell if they're authentic, because uh, a lot of the people who try and uh, replicate authentic posters, you know, they try and pop them off as authentic ones. They, it's very difficult to do a mirror image one, so obviously they prefer to try and do it in one-sided posters. So it's another way to, to know that your post is original. What I didn't say before is that they obviously come in a certain size. The original movie posters come in one size, and it's 27 inches, obviously, the width, and 40 inches is the height. So if you look at a movie poster and you're not actually sure if it's original or not, one of the easiest ways to do it is to, to measure it. And if you see it's 27 by 40, it's most probably authentic. I think the replica ones are, I think, a little bit smaller, maybe one inch shorter in width and one inch shorter in, in length and obviously there are only certain companies that are allowed to uh, to make them in uh, the authentic size and they are professional dealers and this is how you know it's an authentic poster okay okay the next poster Prometheus the, they're obviously directed by Ridley Scott who did the alien the first alien film and gladiator and many more and as you can see, another beautiful poster. I'm going to fold this down a bit because, it, because it's been in the tube. So obviously it curls up still. I don't want to damage it too much. Here I've also got the spaceship that they used to. When they come down from the mothership, they land on the planet. And you've got the face here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to turn this light off. Maybe there you can see it better now. See the face that they find on the planet there. Okay. Turn the light back on. I know there's a bit of a glare, but if I turn the light on, I think you can see it a bit better. See the colours better. Okay, and this has obviously got the three main characters. It's uh, Naomi Rapace, I think her name is. Michael Fassbender and Charlie Theron, who I'm sure if you've seen the film, I'm sure you know what characters they play in the film. So yeah, really nice poster. Obviously this one's in colour. And you sort of split into two. You can see the three main characters up here in the middle. You have Prometheus written in the middle, which is really nice. I really like that touch. And then obviously you have the, the image, as I said before, of the planet and the ship down below. Yeah, we can just stand in front of it. You can see you can see the face there. It's a really nice poster. Not my favourite poster in my collection. I will tell you which is my favourite, but yeah, another recently new film that when I saw the poster I thought I had to check this out. This cost me a little less than Lincoln. I think it cost me I think it was about 25 euros, I think. So you're talking about uh, maybe $35 and maybe 20 pound, UK pounds. So yeah, another nice addition to my collection. Okay, so the next poster in my collection is, as you can see, District 9. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the light and I'm gonna fold this down so you can see the part at the bottom, because it does fold up. Okay, District 9, you are not welcome here. Okay, the nine in a great, a uh, great red, vibrant red colour there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. You can see it quite well. Okay, so this is the 2009 film produced by Peter Jackson, the director of the, the Hobbit trilogy and uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and it's directed by Neil Blomkamp. He's also the director of the, the, I think it's the last Matt Damon film, which is called Elysium. Maybe not the last one, the second to last film. And uh, yeah, great producer, great director, and a great film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it, District 9. I'm not going to tell you anything about the film if you haven't seen it. But obviously here at the top, you have half of the poster. Once again, they like to sort of divide posters in two halves. You have the first half, which is obviously the sky and the alien spacecraft. It's above uh, Johannesburg here in South Africa. You've got the helicopters, the police helicopters flying around. And then the second half of the poster, you've obviously got the city of Johannesburg in the background, and then uh, obviously District 9 here with the fences, where you know obviously the, the aliens stay and the humans don't enter. Okay, and then the aliens aren't allowed out. So, yeah, so there, District 9, another great poster. I really like this poster. There was another poster of District 9 that I it's a very similar poster actually, but they do have actually an, it's a sign with a, an alien on it with a sort of a cross through it, so. But yeah, I enjoyed this more because I wanted to see the whole city and obviously on the other poster, you couldn't see, I don't think I'm making out, you know, they have sort of the water towers here and you know, a lot of the, the places where the aliens, they sort of build their little 
shanty town houses, so on the other poster they were covered up. So yeah, really nice poster. District 9, if you haven't seen the film, check it out. Really nice. Okay, so the next poster in my collection is one that you I'm not sure if you can see the title because it is such a long title. I'm gonna read it for you. It's the Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. So yeah, it's a very long title, so obviously the letters aren't that big and visible. I'm not sure if you can make that out. But obviously, another great film. This was uh, directed by Andrew Dominic in 2007 and stars uh, Brad Pitt, as you can see here, and Casey Affleck just behind him there. And the reason he's standing behind him there with his arms crossed is because I haven't, don't know if you haven't seen it, but during the film, the, Casey Affleck is fascinated by Brad Pitt, who stars as Jesse James, and uh, he tries to sort of not imitate him, but copy him and be like him. So, you know, he's always behind him and looking at the things that he does so he can do them in the same way. So this is why you can see he's in the poster there. And obviously you can see they're wearing clothes that were, were worn in, the, in that time with Jesse James. So yeah, very simple poster. You've got uh, the two here just down below. Obviously they're standing in a sort of cornfield or a hay field there. And uh, you've got uh, clouds up here in the sky because it's not a very nice day and nice and cloudy. So yeah, very simple poster, but straight to the point. Assassinated of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. So if you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend it. Great film by Andrew Dominic. As I said, 2007, a really nice poster. Okay, so the next poster in my collection is Changeling. Uh, based on a true story, directed by Clint Eastwood. There's nothing much interesting here down below. Just the information in the film, you know, that's, that's always. And up here, obviously starring Angelina Jolie, and also starring John Malkovich. Great film, if you haven't seen it. Highly recommended. And it's another, it's a, it's a poster that's very similar to the Lincoln poster. You know, obviously, if you remember, the Lincoln poster had a... a Lincoln's face or Daniel Day Lewis's face in black and white. This isn't black and white, it's colour. You've obviously, as Angelina Jolie likes to have her red lips on show, so you've got her lips here and then the hair. But obviously, she's wearing the hat that she wears during the whole film. But as the, the Lincoln poster, you know, very similar. One half of the poster with an image, and then the other half, you know, on the white background. The only difference is, but as you can see here, that you have a, a child here, which is, if you've seen the film, you know who this child is. It's obviously her child. And I'm not going to explain anything about that, I don't want to give any spoilers, but another nice poster, as you can probably you can probably gather. I like nice, simple movie posters, you know, straight to the point. And another great picture, another great picture on a poster in my, in my collection. But yeah, 2007 film this time. Great film. Okay, so the next poster is definitely one of my favourites. I'm sure most of you have seen this film, it's another Clint Eastwood film. And uh, what can I say? Gran Torino. I hope you can see this quite clearly. Obviously, it's, it's, it's a dark poster, so, you know, especially if I turn on the lights, a lot of refle reflection, so this is why I haven't got the lights turned on. But it's a completely black poster, and even the images I've got on it, they're all sort of in shadow. And you've got Clint Eastwood here, obviously the main character here, with his rifle in his hand, and obviously his... His prize possession is Gran Torino car, just here in the background. Okay, and obviously this is Gran Torino here with Clint Eastwood. So, directed by Clint Eastwood and starring Clint Eastwood. And if you haven't seen this film, I know I'm always saying it, but definitely got to check this one out. Highly recommended. I think probably one of Clint Eastwood's best films. I do enjoy Mystic River quite a lot, but this is definitely up there in, in the top three. And a great poster. There are two different types of posters. This one, there's another one where it's, it's also, uh, and again, it's similar to the Lincoln poster, which you've got Gran Torino here, but you've obviously got, uh, you've got uh, Clint Eastwood's face here, and you, it doesn't have the car, and I don't think it has the rifle either, so I, I went for this one. It was a bit more expensive, but I think it was worth it just to have the, the car in the back. Obviously, the film being Gran Torino, you've got to have the car in the back, and yeah, really nice poster. Bit of a change because a lot of my other posters are all bright and uh, all white backgrounds, and this one's definitely a lot darker, as you can obviously see. So yeah, uh, really, really, really nice film, really, really nice poster, 2008, Gran Torino. Okay, so the next two posters, they're, they're my last posters in the collection, and they're the same film. 
Okay, I was sort of looking on the on the website, movieposter.com, and there were two posters that they had, two original posters, and I couldn't decide between the two which one I wanted. And in the end, with the help of my parents and a nice present, I picked up both of them. So this is the first one. They're completely different, which I'm really happy about. You know, I didn't really want two Django and Chain posters that were similar, so they're completely different. This is the first one. Okay, and this is sort of on a grey background, but it's sort of a sort of, I don't know if it's, I think it's blood splatter, but it's actually orange. It's not red. You've got the circle here is orange, and then I think it's blood splatter. There's a lot of Quentin Tarantino films, as you probably know, have blood splatter on the images and, the, and things like that. So... It's in orange, so it's a bit strange, but yeah, it's blood splatter here. I don't know if you can make that out. And then you've obviously got uh, Chris, Christoph Waltz here, his character, the bounty hunter, and uh, Jamie Foxx, who he trains to be a bounty hunter here. And then you've got Leonardo you know, DiCaprio here inside the circle, okay, with obviously his, his farm or his, uh, his uh, yeah, I think it's the farm where he, sleep, uh, where he lives. So yeah, if I just bring that down again, there's n nothing extra there on the poster. You can see it's just his feet. So yeah, really nice poster. A grey background with a nice orange circle there in the middle. And then obviously you can see the two main characters there dressed dressed in sort of western clothes and uh, their guns. And Leonardo DiCaprio there with his nice beard there in the, in the background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap it for the second poster and I'll talk a bit more about the film. Okay, so here it is, my last poster. As I said before, it's another Jang Wan Chain poster, but completely different. On a white background. I suppose the only similarity is that it has got blood splatter, but this time it's in red all over the poster. So it's blood splatter. And this time it's got the three characters, but they're actually together. You've got Jamie Foxx in the middle. And then you've got Christopher Waltz here on the left, and Leonardo DiCaprio there on the right. So it's on a nice white background. Jang one chained here at the bottom in red. There, there's nothing extra there, just is coming soon. Okay, so it's just leave that like that. And yeah, this time instead of having the, the actors' names at the top, we've got them at the bottom here. Okay, so obviously the new film by Quentin Tarantino, Jang one chained. And uh, it says here that's obviously the slogan of the film. It says, The D is silent, payback won't be. Because obviously Jamie Foxx says, is that and his role. So yeah, a really nice poster. I'm really happy I got both Django Unchained. Please let me know down below which you think is the best Django Unchained one. Is the, the grey background one with the orange circle or with the white background one with the three characters in the main, you know, the three main characters in the centre. I would really like to know. So there it is. My complete original movie poster collection. So I hope you like the posters. As I said, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you collect movie posters too. Maybe tell me what posters you have. And uh, any questions, I will answer them down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click on like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love you to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Take care now.